Hello dear athletes and welcome again to this short series of videos with key information to help you take the most out of Patagon Man. Today we will talk about nutrition tips, as enough energy will be crucial for your success during race day. Once again, the rule of thumb here is not to innovate on race day. Prepare your nutrition plan as soon as possible. Practice your nutrition plan as much as possible. And then execute it on race day. Keep in mind that if you have a large calorie shortage, you will not be able to finish the race despite how much you have trained. First tip, start the race well hydrated and loaded with energy. That's a process you should work on during that whole week so you can be fully loaded when boarding the ferry boat. Second tip, fuel yourself early. If you don't start the race with a big positive balance on your side, there's a big chance you will be lacking energy by the end of the day. You can choose to have a good breakfast, feed yourself some good calories on the ferry boat, eat a T1, or fuel yourself during the early miles of the bike. Don't wait too much to do this. Third tip, remember how much you will need. Your body will be burning an insane number of calories during the whole swim section, T1, and during the first part of the bike just to keep you safe from hypothermia by trying to maintain your core temperature at a normal level. On top of this, you will be burning extra calories with the adrenaline of the challenge and with the exercise itself. Fourth tip, use quality nutrition and hydration. Remember how much you have done to get here. This is a day you will be glad you chose quality products. And the last tip, be prepared for anything and everything. Patagonian weather can change abruptly. If it's cold, it will be hard to train your fluids, but you will need them anyways, so try to train for that. If it's hot, it will be easier to drink your liquids, but you will need to replenish some extra hydration that you will be sweating out. Try to train for that too. Finally, there are many tricks that athletes have been trying out themselves for years. Hot soup at T1, salt and caffeine pills for the last part of the bike and running sections, favorite sandwich on T2, energy drink for the last part of the run, and all this to complement their favorite gel brand during the race. Don't be shy to share your experiences and doubts with the rest of the athletes on the Facebook group. It would be really good for everyone. Stay safe and keep training. A big hack to all of you and I hope to see you in the next video.